Hey guys, I know what you're thinking. Hey, didn't I finish working on this set? Yeah, I did, but uh, picked up something kind of unexpected this week. What I picked up is a never used 10 FP4 pitcher tube made by General Electric. If you watched my videos on the GE810, I went on and on about how great that pitcher tube is that those GEs use, which is uh, what they call an aluminized pitcher tube. Here it is sitting here, and you can see this very shiny aluminum. There's actually aluminum coating the inside of this. What that does is it not only gives you a sharper pitcher, but it means you don't have to use that ion trap magnet that I've been fooling, fiddling around with in my past couple restorations. It's that two pole magnet that sits on the neck here and you have to twist and turn and get to adjust it to get the best pitcher. Well, this doesn't use it. Now I was quite, quite surprised to see this show up on eBay because I've never seen one of these for sale before in any condition, new or used, and to get it new in the original box uh, was quite a treat. Also came with this label inside uh, stating that this tube uses inventions of United States patents owned by or licensed to General Electric Company, blah blah blah. I wonder who owns those patents, because as far as I know, GE was the only manufacturer to use this tube. Everybody else used the 10 BP4, which is what's in this set. Uh, also, if you recall, when I first got this set and powered up that tube, it tested pretty weak. Now, it's been playing okay, but I haven't played this set a whole lot. And I don't know how long this tube's actually going to last. <laughs> Ironically, I just noticed this actually is a GE tube as well. And here's that magnet that uh, you don't need with that other tube. So, what I've set up here is a little comparison. Uh, I've got a blonder tongue modulator set up, going to my DVD player with some nice vintage black and white footage, and my set here. So what I want to do is power this up with the old 10 BP4 tube in it. Then I'm going to pop in this new 10 FP4. By the way, I have tested this tube, and it does test out better than any tube I've ever checked before. So this is indeed an unused tube. Or at least it's seen very little use. So I'm going to turn off the lights on the camera. And turn off the ceiling lights. Do a little AB comparison. That it's easy to switch out these picture tubes. Horizontal sink going first. Okay, there we go. So I want to adjust this brightness and contrast to focus for the best picture I can come up with. It's a very old sci-fi series, I think maybe the very first sci-fi series. Alright, so that's a pretty good taste of what this tube looks like, so uh, I'll pop in the other tube and uh, see what the difference is. Okay, I've installed a new 10 FP4 pitcher tube. No more need for for this ion trap magnet anymore. I've got the set turned on, so let's see what we got. Turn the lights off again. And I'll fire it up to the same piece of video for comparison's sake. I can already tell that I can get this picture a lot brighter than the uh, than the old tube. 
contrast seems a lot crisper too. You know the blacks. The uh, the blacks are blacker and the whites are whiter. <laughs> all right so I'd say this tube is a success now I suppose it's not exactly kosher to use a tube that uh, this set was never designed for uh, but it is a superior tube and I do uh, like this set a lot and I'll probably be playing it more than some of my other sets plus I already have a 10 FP4 for my two GE sets that are good so hey why not use it and uh, like I was saying, this the tube that came with this uh, measure is really weak, so I doubt there's too much life left in it anyways. But I'll certainly hold on to it uh, in case uh, one of my sets uh, does burn out. Alright, hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of a 10FB4 pitcher tube, and uh, that's all for tonight.